While Brawlhalla is mainly known for its main game mode, Brawlhalla does have side game modes, with one of the most popular being Kung Fu. With its interesting gameplay, unique meta, and crazy race to the top, in today's video, I'll be talking about the history of Kung Fu. Kung Fu's gameplay is simple. You and a team go against each other, and your goal is to put a ball into a goal, and whoever hits that set goal amount first will win the game. Kung Fu will be released along with the new legend Rayman at the time on November 6, 2018. And while this was a new game mode, besides the every now and then minor tournament where Lion Guard will win the first ever Kung Fu tournament, Kung Fu didn't really have anything else going on for it at the moment. But then something interesting will happen. On April 21st, 2021, Brahalla will introduce seasonal ranked game modes. And the first ever game mode to be introduced in this new rank season would be Kung Fu. With the spotlight now being on Kung Fu more than it ever has before, players will grow static, and a meta would arise for Kung Fu. The goalies would preferably be Queen Nai and Lucian, thanks to their big SIG coverage, and offensive play will be on Scythe and Lance. Scythe for the sake of having active input so it could do reversals, and Lance for its brute force and pushing in goals. On top of this, a Discord will form where all Kung Fu enthusiasts could come together to share tech, strategies, and more. Along with the newly founded seasonal rank game modes by Brawlhalla, they will add a leaderboard so you could see who's the best of the best. But now you have to ask ourselves, who would be the best? This will start a competition between all Kung Fu players to see who could get the highest ELO in Kung Fu before the season ends. The race will finally end on July 14th, 2021, where RK Dream O and RK Dream 1 will end up taking home a monstrous number one spot, having an insane ELO of over 2,624. After the ranked season will conclude, more tournaments will end up showing up where a bigger amount of people will start trickling in to compete head on head against other teams trying to prove how good they actually are. But what players really wanted to know was who was the best 1v1 Kung Fu player at the time. Vitamin K will finally be able to give us that answer by hosting the first ever 1v1 tournament where a bit stick will end up coming out on top with an almost flawless victory. Later that year, Spacetronics, a company with a bit stick on the mic, will end up hosting another 2v2 Kung Fu tournament. And this tournament will have over 1,000 viewers and over 33 teams participating. Wing Shell and Fate Lee will come home as the champions with a 5 and 0 win. And after all this excitement, the Kung Fu community will go back to sleep awaiting Brawlhalla's next big addition to reawaken their ambition to play. Brawlhalla will finally feed that ambition on January 11th, 2023, where Brawlhalla will introduce a new version of Kung Fu never seen before for a new rank season. This will be 3v3 ranked Kung Fu. The community was ecstatic because something like this has never been seen before. It would change the meta completely, removing Queen Nai all the way through since she was simply too slow to keep up. The new meta will become Double Lucian and Artemis to protect the ball and to be able to get aggressive finishes. And this will also start a new race of trying to see who could get Diamond first, with a bit stick coming back from the grave and being able to complete that, getting the first ever Diamond in EU. Later that year, the first ever cross-region Kung Fu tournament would occur with EU versus the United States, with a bit stick and his teammates walking out number one. But the community wasn't just done yet. Later that year, the Consumer Cup will happen during the summer, so everyone once and for all could finally understand who was the best players. CMAS and Dark Cosmic would go on and take the win home for NA, and the bit stick and Dirk will take the win home for EU. SIB later that year, sponsored by Brawlhalla, will host another 2v2 Kung Fu tournament, but not just one, they will host five, with every single first place team of those tournaments getting $100. Dirk, Unstoppable X God, Dark Cosmic, KSA, Simaz, 
Fately, and ZZDab21 would dominate through these tournaments, all taking home number one placements, and some of them even multiple. And we can't forget the legendary Easy Crew getting a fourth placement. And last but not least, to end the year off, the Kung Fu community will have a 1v1 tournament to see who the best 1v1 players are. Ramadu, KSA, Tiny Toon, C-Mass, Duck Wings, and last but not least, Dirk would solidify their names by getting top placements. In 2024, unfortunately, we have not got any Kung Fu updates, but I know this community is restless as it is waiting to be able to prove itself again. And I would like to give a bit stick a big thank you for helping me put this whole entire video together. And a bigger thank you to the whole Kung Fu community in general for having such a rich history, which I didn't even touch on everything possible. For example, Kung Fu holding the highest ELO ever of 3,400, more in depth of the legendary Easy Crew clan. But I am so thankful to be able to make this video. And until next time, guys, peace out.